Hi, I'm Amy and I am at home and today I have a special guest. Stuart Humphrey is here in the kitchen and she's going to show me and all of you how to make pimento cheese. I'm so happy you're here. Thank this you is for amazing. Me. So tell me about pimento cheese. I, I feel like all I know is that it's known as the caviar of the South. Yes. So my mom's side of the family is from Augusta, Georgia. So pimento cheese growing up was like a huge staple in the house always, especially during golf season. When we watch the Masters at home. Um, but yeah, it's the recipe that we're going to make today is a family recipe that has kind of stayed within the family for a long time. Um, and is a little bit of a secret. So that's all. And you're going to, you're going <laughs> to show us all the secrets. Okay. So I'm starting, the first thing I'm doing is grating some, uh, some orange cheddar cheese and the brand, the recipe that you sent me, it's Cracker Barrel, Cracker Barrel. orange block cheese. And it's really important to grate it, to yeah. hand grate it. So I'm doing that on the largest holes of my box grater. And while I'm doing that, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna start mixing all the other ingredients. Okay. So one of the key ingredients that unfortunately, because we are, are not in the South, <laughs> is um, Duke's mayonnaise. But we're gonna use Hellman's, that's okay. Um, tastes just as great, but the Duke's Mayo has a different ratio of their eggs, so it tends to be a little richier, richer and creamier, um, and holds together in the heat. But Hellman's will work. So we're gonna start by measuring out a half a cup. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's so satisfying to watch. <laughs> it's jiggle. It's so jiggle. <laughs> So, Stu, can I, you know, I love to do everything. I love this recipe, but any chance I could do homemade mayonnaise, or is it really like a dupe situation? I'm sure your homemade mayonnaise would be up to snuff, but um, I'm just going to put it in here with a little mini spatula. You know I love my pink spatula. I know. These are great. Um, but, yeah, we've been having this, like, every, every year my mom makes a ton of this. Um, and she finally let me have the recipe. Well, I'm like so happy about this. I have to say, okay, so we'll, I'll say what I was going to say, but what are you going to put in next? Next are the pimentos. So these are pimentos. Oh, like the, the lid's open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. These are the pimentos. I'm trying to make it easy for you. They are, um, I thought they were like peppers that were in a, uh, they're a type of pepper. I thought they were in like a little yeah. acid, but... That's what, yeah, that's what I thought too. So what do you We're do? We're going to drain them. them. Oh, okay, perfect. Over here so you can get out all the water that's there. It's just pimentos in the water that's inside. So um, I did a little research because I was so curious, like what makes, what, what the heck is this? I only know pimentos in a jar like that. Mm -hmm, and yeah. what I found is they're actually teeny tiny, uh, like red peppers that are super sweet. They're like the sweetest peppers you can use mm -hmm. and they're kind of hard to find fresh yeah they're sweeter than actually a red pepper are. i know so that actually is what makes this a great pantry staple yes. uh, recipe because you can find all of this pretty easily in the right. store including the pimentos which you can keep in your pantry forever, forever. Yeah. we have many of these jars in my kitchen now. so what's next and then we are going to do a half a teaspoon of the Onion salt over here. Onion powder, excuse me. You could probably use onion yeah. salt if you didn't have onion powder. Put that in there. Then we're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, just a and if people okay. don't want it, I know this is traditional, but if people don't like spicy, the spice, they this, can omit yeah. it. But if people like it really spicy, they could probably add more. Yes, exactly. Although although the recipe said at the bottom, don't change <laughs> don't a thing. Don't add anything. Don't, don't add change anything. Thing. Don't do anything. I was no. like, I tested it yesterday and I was like, I can't like can't change, change it at all. Okay. Um, so is that everything? Yeah, it's really oh, I'm simple. I'm behind on my cheese. Hold on a second. And then you can add salt if you want to season, but I'll kind of wait till the end and taste and then add my kosher salt. I feel like cheese actually is kind of salty and so is the mayonnaise. Yes, like there's a lot of that. like natural salt in this. Okay, I'm almost done. Good and job. I feel- You have the manual labor part over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like sweating <laughs> over here, <laughs> grating my cheese. Okay, so I want to get every last bit. And do this the is, honors? yeah, this is like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm going to slide this over to you okay. so we can keep our distance. <laughs> this is um, a really, this is kind of like a, an interesting 
trick when you're grating cheese if you do it over wax paper or parchment paper no mess then there's no mess i could reuse this if i wanted to but i'll probably throw it away and it's okay so we'll so that's away. it right that's, that's it that's the whole thing and now we're going to lock it in place and i'm just going to pulse to combine this so what is your so you grew up having it like a little chunky but i feel like sometimes it's like really pureed yeah, sometimes you can get it at the store that's pre-made pre and it will be very pureed. Um, that's why I'm doing the pulse instead of just turning it on and letting it all yeah. kind of like, you know, yeah. blend. So I think that looks about perfect. perfect. That yeah. is like, you did you made that in like five minutes. I know, so easy. That is so easy. Got a little tester so spoon over here. Let me just make sure. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, but kosher salt just to, to, to taste here. And it sort of, the salt sort of like livens up all of the other Brings out the pimentos. Yes. So I can taste the kick in there. I love the kick. I know that's good. Uh -huh. So at the Masters in Georgia, in, in Augusta, Georgia, where mm -hmm. your mom's from, people eat these, this in a sandwich, right? They with sell them in these bread. little green baggies with white bread, like just straight out of the grocery <laughs> store. White like bread, bread, pimento cheese. Cut in half, and they are so good. I that sounds amazing. I have to say, I don't know if I would want to eat that in New Jersey, but if I was in Georgia at the Masters watching golf, I'd be totally down with that. Yeah, they are, you know. <laughs> and so you know good. what? You know what's sp so special about this recipe? This is. I would rather have this recipe from your mom, like like a real Southerner, than like from a magazine or the newspaper, you know, like I don't want to read about this online. Yeah. So I, want, like, I want the real authentic recipe and this totally is, right? Right. I find that sometimes they try to like zhuzh it up and add a yeah. bunch of stuff. And it's, and it's just, look how great that is. And you know what else? I really like this the next day. Like the flavors marry a little bit. The pimentos can yeah. all, yeah. So I made, I went ahead and I made some saltine crackers from scratch because I thought, done yourself. I thought it would be kind of like, I was trying to figure out what do we serve this with? And this saltine is the like, perfect cracker. Great, for it. great, perfect. So I made these and this is actually, I'm going to put this recipe and this recipe together. And when, when I post this, but I, um, I took my five minute flatbread recipe and I, just rolled it this out and cut into squares and made like little um, dots <laughs> for salty They're beans, perfect. And it turned out great. So let's each try. Yes. It's oh for you, my dear. Thank and you. I am just loving doing this with you. I hope you'll come back. I have to. Try and steal another recipe for your mom <laughs> and come back and we'll do this again. Cheers. Cheers, Stu. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.